Hey, what's up, you guys? It's Nicholas Lion Rider, and uh, on today's episode, we are going. I know we'd said we'd start the Asia section, but I forgot we had to do this little uh, minor section beforehand. Uh, I'm joined today with Lemur. Hello. Back by popular demand. Back after, God, maybe what? The entire series, basically. 15 episodes now? But you're yeah, fi something fi like that. Finally back. Uh, he doesn't yes. hate me, believe it or not. Uh, well. Well, yeah, maybe, who knows. But, uh... Anyways. What I'm doing right now is, uh, basically, just so that I'm not annoyed in the next few episodes, because I was annoyed in this episode, but, uh, so that I'm not annoyed in the future, I basically went ahead and did all of the pathing for the entire Asia section. So that's the, the Tacken, uh, enclosure, the Red Crane, the Red Panda, the Snow Leopard, moon bear and the dromedary camel all of them i did the whole path uh as you can see this hill was really annoying um because basically i'm trying to get like there's a little outcrop by the moon bear enclosure so i was trying to get that all set and then it's on a very steep hill so the path system wanted to turn it into a um elevated path um so i basically uh had to mess with the terrain a bit but it so uh, looks like a struggle yeah, it wasn't fun. Uh, not as bad as the last few episodes have been, but who knows? Uh, I know the Moon Bear enclosure has water, so that'll be fun. Because <laughs> mm -hmm. it, it's, a, it's a path next to a fence next to water, which is always the game's absolute favorite. Um, oh, yeah. Uh, after doing the Harbor Seal and Polar Bear, I'm not looking forward to it. But luckily, that's not for a few path. episodes. <laughs> yeah. Still struggling here on this path. Oh, yeah. It's uh, it's for a <laughs> little bit. Like I said, it's just such a steep hill that I had to, like, make it flat enough that, like, it could go down smoothly while also, like, just... I, I wanted it, like, consistently flat, if that makes any sense. So. Right. Not too bumpy or yeah. jagged. Yeah, exactly. So I got How it. How do you get it here? Yeah. I just had to smooth out the edge. But there you go finally connected yeah, it nice. and then i just do a little uh loop around there uh and then i cover up that small hole uh with mm -hmm. a, a piece but uh yeah so um past that i'm just kind of evening out that terrain. yeah smooth that out but uh like i said oh oh that's just me grabbing a piece oh but Would you like to what, what what exactly are those pieces for Oh, it's just so that the, uh, it's the same color as the terrain, so, or, uh, nice. as the pathing, so it right. kind of covers it up and makes it look like it's all one piece. Um, sure. but we can kind of talk about this section, so this is the, uh, main focus of the episode, probably. This is the, uh, the snake den, or the, the snake house, I guess you could call it. Mm -hmm. Um, and... At first, I was like, eh, this could just all go in the Dromedary Camel episode, which will probably be the next one. Um, should be. It should be the next one. I'm pretty confident in that now. <laughs> um, but basically, I wanted to get this done, and I was like, oh, it's just a reptile house. I could just, you know, slap down a building. It doesn't even need whatever. Well, then this one has a bit of a fancier decoration scheme, though, than yeah. most buildings, because it's got, like, the, the snake... It's got like a big snake that kind of wraps around it. Yeah, so at first I thought I was just going to kind of like get away with just like kind of like, oh, I'll just do... Because in game they have like a snake sign. It's like a half snake. And I'm like, I could, yeah. I could use that. But like it's so small and stuff. And I'm like, uh, I'm going to have to do a custom thing, aren't I? Mm -hmm. And I thought it was fine because I feel like I've been modding stuff for so long now and I haven't done like a serious, like elaborate build sign, like a custom sign in many, many episodes. So I was like, you know what, I might as well do the snake. Uh, and we'll see that in a minute. It's also a very weirdly shaped building. I thought at first it'd be like... Yeah, it looks jank. Like yeah. this roof, these two roofs like connecting. Yeah, I fixed it in a minute because I literally just destroyed that roof because that was just like a mess. So basically I, I made a flat roof first because I think that was like a smarter idea. And then um, and then I do like kind of the 
the fix afterward because there's actually no roof i actually like saw that afterward it's it's kind of a, a fake roof it fit like it, it's a fake out like you see the green trim but there's no actual like roof uh over like half of it so that's because mm -hmm. it's actually just all open-ended and just the exit but uh i also wanted to do uh, a little bit of detailing i haven't done detailing in like a while on many buildings and stuff so um I basically uh, went around and I used the East Asia planks to kind of get the um, green trim around the building. And uh, I think it looks nice. It's a nice little yeah. color. Yeah, um, add some flavor. Yeah. Um, and then I do a little, uh, in a minute you see me do like a custom front. Uh, because like I said, it's, it's kind of a weird-ish building. I also love that so much that the trim just perfectly aligned with like that... Uh, you know the exhibit was like clipping through the wall. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, I'm glad that that like covered it up because I was I was like, oh, that's gonna bother yeah. me so much. But like, no, it, it covers it up well enough. Um, it still pokes out a little bit, but yeah. Why don't you just copy paste this from the other side? Uh, like the door frame and stuff. I mean, it doesn't really matter. It took like two seconds, but that's a good question. <laughs> I should have done it, but. <laughs> I mean, you're doing it. You're copy pasting that. So. Yeah, yeah. I'm not like a total moron. I do like at least copy and paste some stuff. But yeah, now that now in retrospect, you're right. I should have just done yeah. that. Yeah. But uh, well, so th there, you just saw me like trying to place down that little snake thing, and I'm like, it's too small. So then uh, comes the fun part. I didn't even see it. So yeah, I was definitely too small. <laughs> it was very very quick. So I basically placed down three walls since I knew that the building was three wall length long and yeah. i yeah <laughs> yeah three three units of wall yeah. um and then i was like okay i'll do a custom snake so i used the primitive pieces and i basically wanted to build it on its side because i think that was just easier for me to look at like and then i'll just rotate it afterward mm -hmm. so uh luckily it's a uh rattlesnake on the side of the building uh diamondback rattlesnake and so the entire thing it looks is, like a giraffe <laughs> Yeah, it's because right now it's just the, the neck. I'll do the face mm -hmm. in a minute, and then the rattle on the end. Oh. Um, yeah, here this is when I start doing the face. I, uh, uh, you'll also see that like some of the stuff actually kind of uh, bleeds off the side of the wall, and that becomes a pain when I attach to the wall. But it's only, like, I fix it in like two seconds. I just have to delete some stuff and maneuver stuff. But I'm just making the snake head. I do these weird beady eyes for a second, and then I'm like, that looks stupid. Yeah. <laughs> Ditched. <laughs> yeah. So, um, I basically just uh, went around with some triangle pieces and uh, kind of wedged them into kind of like spiky rattlesnake stripes. Uh, and I, I tried to match like kind of the patterning close to the real image. I can pull up a picture of what it looks like. Um... But basically, it was just a lot of like kind of jagged shapes because it's a, a rattlesnakes have that kind of like weird like they have like a triangle patterning like mm -hmm. in their scales. Uh, so I basically just wanted to mimic that. It wasn't anything super sophisticated, but I actually think in the fi the final product it looks really good. I agree. Um, Having seen the final product, thank you. Mm -hmm. Um. But basically, because, uh, yeah, there's a, there isn't too much left to say about it. I do, in a minute, uh, go and select a bunch of the random scales and, like, yeah, slightly modify the, the color to be brownish so that there's a little texture detail. And I get kind of fancy here, and I'm, like, trying to add, like, a, a, a white highlight and a, a shadow. And <laughs> um, this is when I do the, the angry, angry rattlesnake eyes. <laughs> And yeah, so basically now I'm just like kind of modifying the color and stuff so it looks slightly more, uh, I don't know, dynamic than just some flat colors. For the snake tongue, I used, uh, I don't know what that's called, it's like a cylinder piece or something, but I just it's a really thin piece. Um, ooh. And then for the rattle, uh, nothing super sophis sophisticated, I used some ovals and just kind of stacked them until it looked like a rattlesnake rattle. And, uh, yeah, so that's pretty much the entire snake done. So then I just kind of, you know, remove the wall and kind of put it into place. Now, as you can see, it pokes through the top a little bit. So I just had to kind of manipulate it a little bit, delete some of the things, move some of the pieces. But uh, all in all, it wasn't too, too bad. Um, it was just like a little bit of, you know, 
tinkering I had to do. I also made the eye a little bit more um, obvious. Like, you know, yeah, and it's covering up those windows too, so you had to, you had yeah. to switch out these windows here. Yep, which I don't even think I mind. And the rattlesnake rattle, that was super easy. That was just pop, there you go. And that, uh, nice. the building's done. You might have seen that Yay. little cut. I, uh, oh boy, foliage! Oh yeah, <laughs> everyone's favorite. Uh, there's a little park next to the, uh, I guess this is like between the eagle and the uh, Asia area. There's a little park area where you can like eat food with like picnic stuff and there's like a big oak tree. And... You eat snakes? Yes. Oh, oh that's crazy, dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, I also uh, place down all the snakes in their enclosures. Uh, luckily, it's nothing sophisticated. I add like little windows, and you just basically, you know, look inside, and then oh look, it's a snake. So I think I yeah. did. I think I did the puff adder, the diamondback, and the brown snake. Um, which I know the zoo has a diamondback usually always, but uh, they kind of rotate snakes because you know no one really cares. It's just a snake house. <laughs> <laughs> they, like um so they'll you know if they need a snake you, they'll even like sometimes grab them from like the south america building and stuff now right. sometimes they don't even have that in, uh, entire snake building open the last you know because for about half the year the snakes are hybrid hibernating so that's not even open half the time and while i haven't seen it because of coronavirus because it's an interior building you can't you know look at it um I haven't seen if they, that's going to be a thing they open again. But uh, mm -hmm. what I'm working on right now are two small enclosures. Um, it's sort of why I want to do in this episode, because these used to be home to the lemurs. Yay! Like used me. to. Uh-oh. <laughs> used to. Because uh, like everything in the zoo, we, they had to remove it. <laughs> Rip. But, um... Back in the day, they used to have a mini Madagascar section, um, and it was home to... I know they had black roughed lemurs. I'm not sure if they had any other kinds. I, I can't remember. Black and white roughed. Lemurs. Black and white roughed, yeah. Off the top of my head, I can't remember if they had any. But... Um, um, they also tried to completely mask the, uh, existence the fact of that, them. that... Yeah, the fact that lemurs ever existed in this zoo. Yeah, we were looking it up online because I wanted to see if I could find any pictures. There's no evidence there was lemurs at the zoo other than a couple of articles that mentioned the Madagascar section. And, like, a sign yeah, I that they had. I remember very vividly, though. It was a cool area because they basically had... The lemur building had, like, a giant, like, black and white roughed lemur decal on the side, and they had, like, these, like... Um, gorilla hand or they had like ape hands like next to everything because they had like <laughs> yeah it was like a lemur hand it, they were all sculptures and there was like a lemur right. hand a uh, orangutan hand a chimpanzee hand a gorilla hand and then like your human hand or whatever and like it shows like the gorilla hand was like massive and then the lemur hand was like a little tiny thing yeah um <laughs> And, and we also, this is also where you have some issue with uh, the chain link ceiling that doesn't exist. Oh yeah, so these exhibits uh, have kind of gone through a bunch of changes over the years. Um, but they've always kind of been chain link fence cages. Uh, and so normally they're supposed to have a chain link top to them. Um, mm -hmm. But for some reason Planet Zoo doesn't have a, a ceiling for chain link fences. So you're just going to have to pretend that they have uh fences over top because i just couldn't do it um so the reason i'm not really talking about these exhibits much is because currently they really don't have anything of value in them i believe right now the one i'm working on has an american porcupine in it i don't even know if that's gonna stay um because over the years these have always just been kind of holding cells for like just you know small mar they had marmosets in here at one point the american uh river otters used to be in that exhibit i just made to the right of this with the pool mm. um they were always just temporary enclosures right. and so again while they have a north american porcupine in here right now and it's going to be in the thumbnail i will not be actually creating these porcupine just because i don't think it's clickbait <laughs> yeah it is clickbait i'm not gonna lie but the snake well. is legit. Uh, but I, I just didn't feel like it was really that important just because I, I wanted to get this episode out as quickly as possible um, just so that I can work on the camel's next episode. 
And just yes. like that, it's over. <laughs> so, it's a shorter episode today. So yeah, very short. Um, so stay tuned next time. We're going to be starting the Asia section. Um, and yeah, who knows we'll, we'll, who'll be here. Maybe it'll be Lamer again. Who knows? Maybe. Who knows? But uh, All right. I'll see you guys. Bye. Bye.